If you're wondering, can I create a Facebook business page without a personal profile? The answer is yes and no. Facebook officially says no, you can't, but I've created a workaround for several clients that solves that issue for most people of, I don't want a personal profile, and I'll show you exactly what we did in this video. All right, let's get into it. Hey, busy people, welcome to 5-Minute Social Media, where we help overwhelmed business owners become streamlined entrepreneurs by helping them cut their social media workload by 50 to 80% while increasing results and revenue. If that sounds like something you'd like, take a second, hit subscribe, click that bell. That way you'll be notified each week when we release another helpful video. Also, at the end of this video, I want to offer you a free gift, my social media quick fix guide. If you're struggling with reach or engagement or sales on social media, it can be so frustrating. So I've put in some of the main problems as well as some quick fixes to get them going in the right direction in this guide. It's normally $19. I'll tell you how to get it for free at the end of this video. My name is Jerry Potter. Yes, it rhymes with the boy wizard. And today we're talking about can I create a Facebook business page without having a personal profile? And again, the answer is yes and no. Facebook says no, you have to have a personal profile, but I've put together a workaround that for every client I've worked with that just said, I don't want a Facebook personal profile. I just want a page and I want to run ads. This has been a satisfactory solution for every single one of them, and I hope it will be for you. And it just takes three steps, okay? Let's go through them. Now, the first thing you're gonna do is go to facebook.com and create a personal profile. And I know this is exactly what you're trying to avoid, but bear with me and trust the process and watch it all the way through. Facebook requires you to use your real name here, but more than that, for certain types of ads, if you plan to advertise at some point, you may have to prove that your account is legit. So I suggest putting in your real name here, again, just like you would on a Netflix account or something like that. When you choose your birth date, just make sure to choose one that at least makes you a legal adult so you have access to all the things that adults should be able to do. When you go to put in a profile picture, just make it a picture of a landscape or something like that. That way, if for some reason people see your name and they send you a friend request, they say, hey, you didn't affect, accept my friend request, you go, oh, that's not me. You don't want any personally identifiable information on there. It kind of gives you plausible deniability, even for friends and family. And also, don't fill out any other information. Facebook will ask you for it, but it's not required. You have to have your name, your email, and a birth date, and that's it. Step two is to go in and turn off all notifications. You don't want to get suggestions and all the other stuff that Facebook is going to want to send you. So we go in here to Settings and Privacy. Settings. Down here, you want to choose Notifications. And there's a separate setting where you can get notified via push, which is a notification like in the app, email, and SMS or text message. So just go ahead and shut all those off. Now, when you get down here under pages that you manage, that'll show the pages that you are a manager of, and it'll take you to that page to set up your settings for that. But the rest of these are for your personal profile, which again, you don't want to use, so we don't want any of those turned on. And then step three that I recommend is bookmark the specific pages that you are going to use. So instead of going to facebook.com, this is my business page, I would bookmark facebook.com slash five minute social media so I could come right to the page. Or if I was gonna be monitoring the inbox here for messages, then I would bookmark facebook.com slash five minute social media slash inbox instead of, again, having to click through other things. This way you never have to go to facebook.com. And the last part of this third step is to download not the regular Facebook app to your smartphone, but get instead the Creator Studio app or the Facebook Business Suite app. Both of the apps do most of the things that you'll need. Facebook Creator Studio is designed more for content creators and Facebook Business Suite is designed more for kind of local brick and mortars, things like that. Try them both, see which one you like better. But again, don't download the regular Facebook app. Get one of these specifically for business pages. I hope you found that helpful. I know it's not truly not having a Facebook profile, but again, if you turn off all the notifications, you don't friend anybody, then it really just becomes a login, just like you would have for YouTube or Netflix for that matter, all right? As promised, if you're struggling with any other parts of your social media, you might wanna grab this, our social media quick fix guide, identifying some of the biggest problems around engagement or sales or reach on social media and how to start fixing them. Normally this is $19, but I'm happy to offer it to our YouTube audience for free. You can find the link here on the screen, go there, or you can find a clickable link in the description of this video, all right? Thank you so much for supporting here, here at 5 Minute Social Media. You're not only supporting me, but also my two tiny superheroes at home.